it's a deep space resonance it's a work it's a work it's a realization to combine in the same device a different uh, feel not only philosophical things it's to combine physical representation of our world deep space was at the beginning a tool to show how understanding about uh, our universe uh, the um, four dimension around us three physical dimension in three direction and the time you have four dimension at the wrist on your wrist to uh, to remember what is around you and what is life on earth in this uh, area space area in our universe it was a target to create deep space tourbillon the tourbillon is the representation of the three dimension and the dial around is the representation of the time coming from everywhere and nowhere is around when i started to work on the resonance it was one challenge to create a uh, technical device in watchmaking to connect with the uh, acoustic phenomenon two things two balance wheel but i um, I um, reach the target after I made the deep space and in 2016 scientists saw in two inside two instruments around the world the gravitational wave it was one theory sought by uh, Albert Einstein in 1916 and one century after it was possible to see in the machine the gravitational wave and for, for me it was one interesting point linked with my work my work on the resonance acoustic resonance because at the end everything in this universe is an acoustic things energy light electromagnetism everything is acoustic and this gravitational wave came to disturb the basic and stable four dimension the time and the dimension was changed and bent when the gravitational wave passed through that or went through that It was not really natural, but it was quite evident for me to integrate as a, my new mechanism with um, resonance phenomenon inside the tourbillon. To remember, the four dimension is not really stable and definitively the base of everything if something happen like 
two black holes collapsing together, it's so strong that your time and your dimension change. Change because uh, acoustic things is coming from this origin of very, very strong phenomenon. And at the end, to have two balance wheels together inside the three dimension to remember nothing is always straight, fixed, but is also different. It's because something is resonating with your life and with your world. And to have this resonance inside the watch, in the middle of the, the heart of the watch, it's to connect yourself with this part of the universe and with what happened very far, only with, um, with um, acoustic phenomenon. It's only that. The, the first time I, I, um, I spent some reflection about the resonance, it was uh, when I started to play piano. Uh, I was fascinated by this instrument, musical instrument, but um, I had to set the to set the sound of the piano myself with the key to make attention on the wire and I noticed the, the this instrument was built with each knot, three wire made quite uh, similar to have the same vibration. And to set it, it was to stop two wires on the tree, to set the sound of this one, and after that, to stop this one and another one and to set again. And after that, the sound mixed together um, was close to the right knot. And I noticed also when I um, shock the, the warrior, uh, starting uh, vibrating. When I remove my finger from the other, the other wire started to vibrate also at the same rhythm than the first one. Uh, the same frequency or close to the same frequency. It, it was interesting and I was fascinated. And I played a little bit with that to understand better. And I thought in, the, uh, in, in a watch to maybe to connect two things like a balance wheel together, I thought one way to connect them is through the, the air spring. Because the air spring is like this wire in the piano. It's taking energy to take and to give back. And this spring was like also a, a diapason. 
this is this instrument gave me the vision of of the connection between two balance wheel through the air springs because the air spring is one independent part of the watch uh, taking energy and giving energy and once i noticed also in a big pocket watch the sound of the air spring it was giving some sound and i thought oh it's so strong then the energy of the air spring it's going through the hair to my hair and um, i started to think some architecture in the technical construction will be the top to connect the two balance wheel through the, the air spring to exchange energy together and to influence together the frequency. And uh, I decided to buy some uh, marine chronometer to create a device, a big device to have an, uh, a great instrument. But at the end, the uh, marine chronometer was too big. And I decided to, to buy uh, some deck watch. Uh, it was closer than a um, uh, wristwatch. Um, and, um, and it was also uh, easier for me to, to imagine also what happened with the common air spring or with an uh, uh, breguet air spring uh, and with an uh, heavy balance wheel or with a lighter balance wheel to try different things to discover what happened. And uh, in 2007, I started to create the demonstrator to find the way and to discover which architecture will be the best or would be the best in this time. And uh, life was um, quite difficult to focus on, on it. I was uh, um, looking for something else money, uh, different uh, construction. And um, in 2016, with uh, not the discover of the gravitational wave, but with um, the first time it was possible to see uh, it's real, uh, my work about the um, acoustic resonance came back very strongly to understand now it's time to finish this journey uh, or to continue the journey to reach something in this uh, dream and I'm happy to to made before the deep space tourbillon because it was the perfect Uh, perfect uh, vehicle. Um, I, I was very happy to uh, to uh, to make the deep space before the final uh, um, things on the acoustic resonance because it was the perfect vehicle to put it inside to continue my dream in this very particular watch. And um, a friend coming from Australia helped me 
for the last four years to focus a lot of time and a lot of energy to reach the combination of how is working for the acoustic resonance, what is the triaxial tourbillon, and how to mix together these two crazy worlds.